so these are exercises on web api and exercise one uh, this is statement you must have already read so let's proceed to the project this is the project that we have created and this is a razor page this page has a usual directive and h1 tag and then we have program.cs file and this is the create builder add razor pages build map razor pages and run so a basic working application let's see the output so far it shows the home page as we would expect so let's now configure our web api first we have to add a singlet on so uh, this is the code that we do add singlet on and this is the type of singlet on the list and this is the object or instance that will be added to the service this object is added at a single single instance this only exists so basically this is what a singlet on is one object in the entire application and then we have a map get and here this is the route api all this is the return type it returns an ok and the data type is returned as i list and this is uh, this list is obtained this is the parameter that comes because of dependency injection automatically your api receives and here the ok result is sent and the same list is sent so this is what uh, our api will look like let's run it now this typed result will work in dotnet 7 and later so take care so let's uh, so this is our api that returns a json automatically the api will return a json everything is done behind the scenes and now let us do it with curl command prompt and this is curl command this means type of request get request and to this let's see what it does we get the razor oh we have actually sent it to the razor page itself but we are to send it to api slash all and now you can see that we get the json so we have verified it with curl also and with browser also so this is how we do source code is there thank you